Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. Um, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. My name's Kanawak from GMS Toronto. Doing a quick lesson in regards to um, the UFO sightings, all right, which is known in the Bible as uh, the chariots of the Father or the chariots of Israel. And uh, basically, um, you know, this these are, you know, like, you know, like this is gonna be our like deliverance, right? Um, you know, um, a great, a great deliverance, you know, and um, the hopeful members of the elect of who I hope to be that um, we could, uh, we're gonna get out of this wicked society because you see what's going on. There's been a lot of destruction, you know, throughout the earth. You know, a lot of calamities and just uh, total destruction, which is orchestrated by the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. You know, there's been a lot of destruction, uh, hurricane, you know, tornadoes, uh, you know, all the wooly stuff going on on the earth, man. And uh, it's getting very real and intense. And we know that the Lord's coming, man. He's bringing his, you know... The angels are already here, man. They're doing their a lot of work, you know. And um, ultimately, um, there's gonna be more destruction, you know, for twenty for 2023, man. And it's gonna get a lot more intense, you know. Lord's willing, um, you know. This would be the last year of this whole, you know. We know that 2023 is a uh, couple weeks a couple months ahead and um you know 2023 so we hopefully you know we hope that the lord uh you know he 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 brings a speedy riddance to this society man all right but we know that uh certain prophecies have to come to pass the uh motb in um you know world war three you know but um you know like this this is this video about uh chariot sightings and stuff and uh there's been a lot of sightings man That's a sighting of uh, the chariots over there in, uh, looks like somewhere in a Latin country, probably Mexico or uh, Colombia, one of those countries. But uh, yeah, there's been a lot of sightings. There's been a lot of sightings here in Toronto. You know, um, I seen a thing on TikTok, I think uh, last week or so, there was a sighting here in Toronto and these people didn't know what to do, man. So um, there's been, uh, you know, and this is, you know, and this is going to be uh, our deliverance, man. It's going to be a strange thing, man. It says, um, like, this is a article, newspaper article that I, I screenshotted. It said, screen think, stranger things, incre um, in incredible, it says, like, an incredibly clear photo showing 50 foot, this shape ufos emerging from the storm like before vanishing into space so yeah this is the, the lord he, he's using the angels to you know like to bring a lot of destruction man you know that's what's going on around the world there's been a lot of mysterious tornadoes you know just on the water i think a couple weeks ago there was a tornado here in ontario you know, um, October 1st, 2022, there's a tornado, uh, by like a tornado basically in Italy, 
right by the water man so uh things is getting a lot more real the angels is uh is coming with a vengeance man you know what i mean scriptures regards to uh, the salvation the chariots of of god the chariots of yahweh yahweh shai right you know the lord of hosts right it says our wisdom of psalm in five and one then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors right you know how this uh america you know um south america central america you know how this place was established was off of bloodshed man of the of of the of, of the israelites man all right we were uh sold you know uh cargo slave ships transatlantic slave trade you know and um you know we came into uh you know america you know the caribbean you know that wherever our people have been afflicted and and and, and they're you know and they basically uh they're living affluent fat or whatever you know like this is uh you know but now you know esau's losing right you know even um the so-called joe six-pack right now like you know like he doesn't really he's not on the level like you know like the Rothschild, the rock of you know of the elite bankers and whatever so you know says uh i uh, think isaiah says uh, i will set the egyptians against the egyptians so you know because they're trying to fight for power you know and basically uh try to keep you know the population down you know they want this whole population down to uh 500 million you know that's the plan of the elite and um it's not gonna work right and you saw the run out of time and um you know and and, and like that's why when uh, like when the lord comes and his son you know and the angels man you know you know uh, like um like they're gonna be in for a big surprise man then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labors, man. That's why also, you know, like the so-called Negroes or whatever with their inventions, man. You know, mostly everything that we use, you know, here in this society was created by uh, the so-called Negroes, man. You know, with your inventions. That's why the Lord says, uh, Jeremiah says, uh, Jacob is a former of all things, you know. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed of the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for, man. So you seen that with you seen that video with the chariot, man, and basically uh, just opening, you know, opening up the, like the doors of the of the chariot. You know you know so that that's gonna you know like that's gonna be our salvation man you know the elect is gonna be beamed up you know they're gonna get beamed up and uh and they're gonna get the new bodies man and how could i prove that it's lucky yeah. Hebrews, Hebrews 8, and I uh, start at 7. Uh, for it, 
For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So that's why, you know, that we broke, you know, uh, like the first covenant, you know, because we disobeyed the, you know, like the laws, statutes of the heavenly Father and His Son, right? And that's why, um, you know, we're cursed. You know, when you read about, when you read about. When you read Deuteronomy 28 from 1 to 15, it talks about it talks about the blessings, right? If we if we obey the word and the Lord, uh, the the words of, of the Lord, you know uh, that we be blessed, right? But if we if we disobey, right? Uh, from Deuteronomy 28 to 16, verse 16 to 68, we we'll talk about the curse that will befall us as a nation if we disobey right and um you know and like that's why we're we're under basically when you read genesis uh three all right when um when eve basically when eve basically uh was enticed by the serpent you know to eat basically uh the tree of of good and evil, the tree of life, or the tree of good and evil, right? Because prior to that, you know, like we were eating the tree of life, right? We were we a mortal, right? We knew exactly who we were and stuff, but um, you know, so basically the serpent, he used Eve to um. You know, like basically entice or entice Adam, you know, and that's why, um, you know, basically uh, the serpent used Eve first, and then Adam, he basically, uh, you know, like he went into the the ways of uh, of good and evil, all right, and uh, and it was good. Right and like on that, that's why the Lord said, yeah, it, w it is good, right? So now we're now we're basically we're gonna get back the tree of life because we have lost it, right? And we're gonna be immortal, and we're gonna we're gonna like we're gonna be whole again, all right? We're gonna be able to uh, we're gonna be able to live, you know, for hundreds of years, man. Just like in the days of Adam, you know Noah. Noah, I think he he lived uh, basically. Uh, I think is is seven hundred years, eight hundred years, you know. So it's like yeah, we're gonna, you know, we, that we might be able to be a mortal where we to live forever, man. You know, but basically, um, that's why I said when the Lord comes, basically, like we're gonna be, we're gonna reign for a thousand years and whatever. And um, like that's why it says Psalms 82 says, uh, "I've said ye are gods, but ye shall die like men." Right? Well, um, let me continue. For finding fault with them, he saith, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah." Right? So the house of Israel is referring to. Uh, you know so-called um so-called northern tribes right all right because our kingdom was split right that's why when uh, solomon was in power all right so when uh because basically um when solomon you know solomon he lived uh he had 40 years of peace he had 40 years on the throne right and um you know, but Solomon, he basically, uh, he got enticed, you know, by basically of uh, the woman, cause he had many, he had 700 wives, 300 concubines, and uh, he started to go, he kind of went off, you know, in his, in his uh, older, older age, and um, basically started worshiping uh, idols and whole bunch of stuff and. Uh, he was building all kind of homes and and stuff for these different gods and basically he fell that's why the lord when he came back on the scene as yeah jesus or yahweh all right which means he is savior all right 
like that's why he um he, like he was able you know he had to pay for his sins as solomon you know and um basically um you know he, he like he was the unblemished lamb right and who restored us back to the heavenly father all right and uh he was the unblemished black unblemished lamb he was the sacrifice all right and um he rose on the third day all right and um you know he he after the third day he was he walked through the streets of jerusalem and israel and he basically was um he was living he was here for like 40 days and then he came also to uh the northern world i get jeremiah uh, not Jeremiah um, John 10 and 10 I believe but not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they counted Salakit because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not said the Lord for this is the co covenant that I will make with the, the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and I will write them in their heart and I will be with them a power and they shall be my people. So yeah, we're gonna, the laws is going to be embedded in the elect, right? And with the one third. And we're gonna be uh, and like we're gonna be trans we're gonna be translated we're gonna we're gonna be uh it says in the twinkling of an eye if i could find that All right you know like we're gonna be a change you know and uh you know whether you know this you know like we're not gonna be in this sinful flesh we're gonna be in uh in uh heavenly flesh man immortal flesh Right. And they shall no not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. So yeah, there's not gonna be no more highways and byways and warning our people as to who we are and you know, trying to tell uh, I, I think uh, today there was a guy um he was the Yoruba guy. I was trying to ask him, right? You know, I'm like, I'm like, what's your? I'm like, I try to ask him, you know, like his ethnicity, and he's like, oh, I'm. He's like, I'm African. I'm like, which part of Africa are you from? And then he's like, oh, I'm like, are you from? Are you from Kenya? Where are you? Cause he kind of looked like, um, he kind of looked like a train or something, right? But he was had a little cigarette. He had a sm cigarette, and he's like, no, he's a uh, Yoruba. Cause I asked him, I'm like, okay, what are you Ghanaian? Are you Nigerian? And he's like, oh, I am. Um, he basically said, oh, he said that he's, he said he's from Yoruba. But he's like, oh, he's like, what are these things on the sign? Cause he was looking at the sign, and he's like, oh, a Negro. No, he's like, no. Basically, he said, oh, like, why do you have Negro on the sign? I'm like, because they're the so-called Judites, all right. The so called the so called Negroes are Judites, but he was he was kind of confused and bugged out, and he's smoking a cigarette. And we're it was before we started the camp, and we had a little conversation. Then he just walked off, and he kind of scoffed or whatever. So yeah, we're so yeah, we're right now. Yeah, our people love to our people, our people basically uh, call themselves black or whatever all kind of by words you know you know but they don't want to call themselves you know i'm you know judah gad or you know our people are lost man so we're, so so when the lord comes and he's gonna exalt us and put that you know that law in us you know on that when the lord comes and stuff it's gonna be all right man and um like we're not they're, they're right now uh, like after that like we're not gonna be out here with the sign and all that stuff, man, to warn our people, man. 
no. And they shall know not they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest for i will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will i remember no more in that in that he saith a new covenant he hath made the first old now is now that which decayeth and wax of old is ready to be vanished away and that's the time that we're uh, approaching this you know you know we're tired of this sinful flesh you know we're you know we're broken as a people and um it says uh basically if it wasn't for the elect's sake no flesh shall be saved so if it wasn't for the lord coming you know and to and to deliver our people that we will all be destroyed because you see what esau is trying to do he's trying to he's trying to chip people man he's trying to you know he's trying to keep us down you know and to basically be his he's esau he, he, like esau wants us to be his servants man because he's already living his blessing man all right let me get this uh revelation one and I think six or one and one and seven. Alright, start at six. Alright, because basically um it's all about the time it's all about the Lord, man. And uh you know, we're in the time when the you know this is gonna be the grand appearance, you know, of the Lord, man, you know, once this whole uh CHIP the mark the motb mark of the beast it be implemented man like you know like that's the last uh the last two prophecies you know basically the mark of the the motb and basically world war three man and uh yeah that's pretty much it man jacob trouble oh yeah it's gonna get real man yeah, John 1 and um, I start at 5. And Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right, which means he is Savior. Yahweh Shai, when you go into that word, uh, yeah, when you, cause the, when you go into um, the Greek word Jesus, it means hey Zeus, which is Zeus, all right, and then Christos, all right, which basically means. Uh, anointed all right let me go into that so it'd be it would be uh like must must up but it's like it says uh who is faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of of the earth unto him that loveth us and wash us from our sins in his blood so this is right now we're living you know that when the lord comes it's gonna be his kingdom right because he's gonna wash our sins you know uh, you know of the hopeful elect you know and uh, the one third all right and you know because when he was you know because when the lord was basically when he was the uh, the death angel who came through egypt and killed the firstborn you know of the egyptians you know and with their plagues and everything you know and basically the lord he basically he delivered us you know like through the red sea using moses and aaron and stuff and it was a great uh great deliverance uh basically it's like six hundred thousand almost yeah six hundred thousand of us people who were basically walked the red sea all right but now it's going to be a, a short a shorter it's going to be a basically uh it's, it's basically um you know there's going to be more destruction on the earth you know so when the lord comes you know the and basically when uh, the lord comes and the one third and the elect you know are gonna come and they're gonna come down you know and uh, and they're gonna rebuild 
you know just that we're gonna have servants right and um you know says unto him that loveth us and washed us from our sins in his blood so this is you know yahweh shy right and have made us kings and priests unto yahweh and his father and to him be the glory and dominion forever because right now we're gonna have a dominion right and uh just how like you know queen elizabeth ii she she died you know she's a edomite and right now it's gonna be king charles right and um right now like their dominion right now like they're living fat they're living luxurious and stuff but when the lord comes man you know this is going to be the dominion of jacob man and we're going to take everything man we're going to get back everything what they have stole from from our, our people from the so-called um you so-called negroes you so-called west indians so-called um haitians you know you so-called mexicans you Colombians, you like Peru, you uh, you know like you know like all the tribes, man, because we're robbed and spoiled, man. All right, and we're gonna be kings and priests, man. All right, I think um, yeah. So with the word with Revelation one and six, where it says about the it talks about the, the talks about the dominion. The word is Kratos. Strong's G, 2904, Kratos, Kratos. For strength, power, might, mighty with great power, and mighty deeds and works of power, dominion, all right? And we're going to have power. We're going to have spiritual power, man. You know, just how, like, when you watch those, uh, those TV, sh those, uh, TV shows, you know about like Luke Cage and Superman and all those big uh, Marvel comics and DC uh, characters or whatever. You know, like we're gonna be the real, uh, the real Superman, the the real, you know, like the real. Uh, we're gonna be the real deal, man. All right. It says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him." And they also which pierced him. So even the guys who pierced the Lord, you know, like these two Roman centurions who like who, who pierced the Lord two thousand years ago, man. You know, so right now like they're living and they're probably in the in, in the military or whatever occupation what they're doing and they're doing the same thing. So the Lord's coming the Lord's coming right back. The Lord's coming with those He's coming back, man. He's gonna, he's gonna deal with, he's gonna deal with them, you know, wicked, cruel, man. You know, because just how, you know, the Lord, he, he was humiliated, man. You know, he had a horn, he had uh, thorns. You know, they're mocking him. You know, beating him, spitting. You know. Uh, the two thirds, they were, you know, the two thirds, they were doing all kinds of wickedness unto the Lord, man, spitting on him, mocking him, and they said, "Let his blood be upon us." Right. So right now, that's why there's a lot of destruction happening around the world, man. All right, and and especially like the two thirds, the two thirds are getting judged. You see what's going on? Uh, I think in Jamaica. You know, Cuba, there's a certain parts of Jamaica that got, got flooded out, man, certain certain parishes, man. You know, because they're the same wicked ass niggas, man, who, who fight against the Lord. You know? said, so behold, he cometh with clouds, right? And every eye shall see him. So, yeah, so with the so-called UFOs, what you they call... Um, the aerial phenomenon or you or the unidentified flying objects man or you know so basically the Lord he's gonna come with uh, a big ship second Ezra 13 verse 1 and the Lord's gonna come he's gonna come with a, a big ship it's gonna be like a mountain man just like when you watch that movie uh, Independence Day with Will Smith and all the kings of the earth shall wail because of him. Let's look at wail. 
Yeah, correct. No, there's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Literally, man. People's gonna get their, you know, people are gonna be crying. People are gonna get their, their, you no, know, that like people are gonna get their just recompense, man. Well, I think Copto. Strong's G twenty eight seventy five, Copto. Copto. To cut, strike, smite, to cut from, cut off, to beat one's breast of grief. So yeah, enough people are going to get beat up, beat to, you know, people are going to get heart attack. People are going to, you know, because they're not, you know, because they're going to be shaken, man. People are going to be like, this is real. You know, they're going to see, you know, the angels, you know, they're going to be like, what? Like, what? No. Let me go to, back to Wisdom of Solomon uh, 5 and uh, 3. And they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, so This was he whom we had some time in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. So yeah, they're gonna say, you know, I'm like this was hated, man. You so-called Negro, you so-called Negro, you so-called um, North American Indians, or you you Mexicans, man. Like you, you were, you know, um, like you're gonna, you know, because they're gonna see what, like they're gonna see a lot of the, uh, like they're gonna see, uh, you know, like basically us being delivered and they're gonna see it's just beer black people and mexican and certain stuff because it's gonna be twelve thousand of each tribe who's gonna be delivered all right and uh the one third and now uh, can i prove that yeah if you want to continue you, you could uh read wisdom of psalm 5 but we get revelation uh it's like a revelation I just lost my train of thought. I was just gonna draw a scripture. But it says, uh, they are, it says, they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometime derision and proper reproach. You know, and they call us uh, coons. You know, they call us all kind of different things, man. Niggas, uh, kata, all kind of different shit. We fool account to his life madness and his end to be with our honor. Yeah, they see us at the bottom. See, uh, you see, there, you see our people. You know the so-called, so-called uh, small hats. You know they totally destroy the music industry. You know they have our people uh, wearing dresses and, you know, doing uh, homosexuality stuff and hope you know they say we fool account to his life madness and his end to be with the honor how is he numbered among the children of yahweh and his lot among the saints right because we're going to be saints man we're going to be consecrated you know and uh the lord's only coming for the hundred and forty four thousand man of the east tribe right and this is going to be the last uh the last uh, verse, basically Revelation 7 verse uh, 1, or the last uh, book that I'm going to go into, Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, holding, it says that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the, nor on the trees. All right, that's why the Lord he has his angels, man. And that's why the angels right now throughout the earth is wreaking havoc. Um, Australia, you know, Pakistan, you know, uh, Mexico or the, 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 the stuck in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, um, Florida, you know, Newfoundland, you know, Saskatchewan, or no, no, it's stuck in. That, yeah, I'm um, like Newfoundland, you know, and uh, there's been a lot of destruction, man, on the four corners of the earth, right? With, uh, you know, Michael, the archangel, when you read Daniel 12 and 1, all right, um, Uriel, then Gabriel, and then, Ra and then like Raphael, 
you know and um you know the lord's doing he, the lord yahweh shai has it, the four angels the mark the four archangels that's wreaking havoc man holding the four winds of the earth till the that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on the trees and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the still living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it shall be given to hurt the earth and the sea seeing hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servant of our power in their head right so yeah that's what the lord ezekiel 9 the lord's gonna he's gonna give the thawa the exemption from judgment man where the lord's gonna exempt his elect and the one third you know because it's gonna get very real uh second Ezra, or revelation 3 and 10 it says uh the, the hour of temptations coming you know and um that jacob trouble is coming man and um basically um you know they're gonna push this motb and stuff and um you know where it's gonna get real man and we're gonna be tried so the, the so the lord he's gonna he's gonna he knows who is elect it already is and uh and that, how can we prove that and i heard a number of them which were sealed and they were sealed a hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of the children of israel of the tribe of judah were sealed twelve thousand so the so-called um negroes right here in america of the tribe of reuben you know right? the seminole indians right the five civilized tribes of the twelve of the tribe of reuben were sealed twelve thousand the tribe of gad were sealed twelve thousand right north so-called north american indians all right and they're gonna be uh be sealed and and delivered man of the tribe of asher and you know the colombian the brazilians you know peru were sealed twelve thousand of the tribe of napathali right argentina and uh chile were sealed twelve thousand right of the tribe of manasa right the so-called cubans right were sealed twelve thousand right right now like that you know like that's why the elect were scattered throughout the earth and basically uh you know like we're we, we, like we've been pushing the truth right basically uh starting from you know from um the apostles of great millstone and their apostles their leaders right with uh high priest aria you know uh mo uh um you know king masha um you know elijah bivens all right which we believe that he's uh he's elijah the prophet you know when you go to malachi uh, four and one or when you go into malachi about the basically elijah i will send the elijah you know and uh it's like yeah simeon all right you so-called uh, you so-called dominicans all right levi you so-called haitian right on the same on the same island the tribe of ishakar all right mexicans the tribe of Zebulon, um, you know, over there in like Central America, the tribe of Joseph, which be Ephraim, Ephraim's catching the hell, <laughs> you know. But the Lord, you know, we, you know, like, like that's why it's a mystery, man. It's a mystery, and the like we're scattered throughout the earth, but you know, but the main the main um you know but the main deliverance is going to be through america canada you know and you know and basically it's, um like anywhere are like anywhere that the brothers are scattered man right because um let me get this like mix i didn't want to go so long but let me push a thing i think uh think in ezekiel says uh great fear fell it's 
think is Ezekiel. Great fear, Slaki, a great fear. I think it was in Ezekiel because it says basically like uh, like great fear came like fell upon stock yeah one second grief great army yeah Ezekiel thirty seven Look here. Now me get Ezekiel thirty seven verse nine. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind and prophesy, son of man, say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live, right? And that's what we're doing, right? Because we are we were slain, but now we're living. Right? And we we know who exactly we know exactly who we are now, you know, because we didn't know who the hell we were. We're just thinking that we're just Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Dominican, you know, native, you know, like we, you know, we're, you know, like that. Our heritage was stolen and stripped from us. So now we're back. We're breathing alive, you know, like we're breathing again. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath and the breath came into the into them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army that's why you have all the different camps throughout the world throughout uh holland throughout the uk throughout scotland you know throughout um australia you know throughout uh throughout Bolivia, Mexico, throughout America, Canada, you know, of Great Millstone and, you know, certain people who was basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like certain brothers is not affiliated with Great Millstone, but they're basically pushing the same doctrine, you know, going on the highways and byways, warning our people, man. Then he said unto me, son of man, he said, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off. We are cut off for our parts, right? Yeah, and that's our people. Our people don't have the hope, all right? So right now, like we're the bones that's living, right? That's why the two thirds are gonna be ultimately destroyed, man. When the Lord comes, all right? This is gonna be the last one. And I'm gonna close. It says, for their dead, bo Revelation 11 and eight, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where our lord was crucified right and this place you know sodom and egypt referred to america all right when you look at the uh the washington dc monument all right it has uh the, the, the phallic symbol right which is a egyptian symbol you know of basically a uh, penis or phallic symbol of the uh, basic penis symbol right because that's the same shit that the uh, damn um this damn Egyptians are into, you know, when you have the American dollar bill, has the pyramid, the all CNI, which is the eye of Horus and a whole bunch of different symbolism and all that shit. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah is for, you know, their wicked and you know, all the th things and on. Um, when you go and you watch certain documentaries and about, uh, about Sodom and Gomorrah and, um, 
basically um you when you watch certain other uh, other documentaries man what was going on in Sodom man the Lord destroyed that right when the Lord um like he delivered Lot all right and uh his wife and his his uh his wife and his two children his two uh his two daughters you know but uh his 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 wife looked back all right and she became a pillar of salt because she wanted to stay into Sodom, you know, on, on like whatever her her uh, demon was, man, like whatever lust she had or whatever, right? And so, so the, yeah, so the Lord he, he basically used the angel to damn blind her, man, and she became a pillar of salt, and that's what's gonna happen again, man. All right, I said we're our Lord, we're crucified. Right, and that's why our people don't know, you know, that our Lord is a so-called black man of the tribe of Judah. All right, so you know this, you know, like, and basically, uh, you could thank uh, that Renaissance Christianity, you know, because we were prior to that, we knew who we were, you know, but the but basically we were the Renaissance Christianity with the iconoclasm. And stuff, um, you know, it, it, like they depicted uh, a false image, you know, of our heavenly Father. I think Job nine. <laughs> I didn't want to go so long, but it's a spirit, right? Job nine twenty four. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he, right? And that's what it is. Esau is a serpent, man. Just he's the same serpent in the garden, you know, Cain. All right. And basically Cain, you know, Cain, you know, after he killed his brother Abel, the Lord, he, he caused him, uh, he caused Cain, he got, he got a curse of leprosy. All right. He was, he was cursed. All right. And uh, it says, "From the, from thy face, he 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 he, he shall be hid." All right. So um, with that, I'd like to say, "All praise due to you." How Bashim Yashai, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. Of the elect, we're almost out this bitch, out this kingdom, man, and uh, it's gonna get a lot more real. But you know what? We're we're gonna be. Uh, you know that like we know that we're gonna be built for it you know some of us might perish or whatever but you know but we're gonna be reborn and or not reborn we're gonna come back you know in uh the glorious body you know some people are gonna die as mortars you know but they're gonna be the ones who's gonna basically like come down you know when uh all destruction is so you know, a lot of, you know, no couple breath, you know, like certain brothers died, you know, in this truth, you know, so they're going to be the first one who's risen up. Yeah, so with that, I'll just say, I'll praise you due to you. How about Shem Yashai, the launch of the cross of Great Millstone? Hopefully, uh, this brother, hopefully, like, this video was, uh, edifying. Um, yeah, so with that, I'll just say, uh, Shalom. Yeah, I'm just